friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here today to talk about using honey for making medicinal extracts or even just uh, maybe a multi-mineral type extract or vitamin extract, something you're making uh, just for the health purposes, maybe not necessarily for medicinal purposes, where tinctures are typically made from spirits such as rum, vodka, uh, even whiskey. Uh, if you, I call everything extracts because everything is an extract of some kind, but they all have their own different names. And so I just call them all extracts. But one example would be like a mixture of a one-to-one -one ratio of honey to vinegar, like I have right here, that would be considered an oxymil. And that's one form of an extract. Now I've never made it that way, but that would be a really good way for people who can't have alcohol at all, is that mixture of honey and vinegar. And it doesn't have to be one-to-one. -one. You can do two parts honey and one part vinegar. The great thing about it is these are healthy things. So if you're getting a good raw honey like I have here, and especially if you're using your own homemade vinegar, it can be very healthy and it can extract well. Now there are certain things that just do not extract as well when you're looking at using honey, vinegar, or wine, or even uh, glycerin, and they will do better with spirits, and that's typically gonna be your more woody items. Anything that's a bark or a root typically is gonna extract better with a spirit. But I wanna talk about the honey thing because um, when I first started my channel, I was using a blend of homemade wine and glycerin, which is a good way. And that way I could, you know, the homemade wine makes it cheaper and the glycerin kind of reduces the alcohol content and, and adds a nice sweet flavor. But then it dawned on me, why can't I just use raw honey? Honeys can be very thick to very runny. And uh, this particular one here, I just got from Azure Standard. And it's actually the first honey I bought from them, but it's a raw orange blossom honey, which I haven't had orange blossom honey in years. And when I saw that they had it, I just had to buy it. And it was a pretty decent price. And I really like this honey, but it's also pretty runny, which means this would work really good in making extracts because the less viscous the properties of your solvent are, I personally believe the better it's going to extract. So this is why with things like glycerin, which is also kind of a syrup, you typically mix it with another liquid. And it's usually like three parts glycerin to one part water. And that water is to reduce the viscosity to help it extract better. But honey is a much healthier option. Now, obviously you can't give this to children age one and under. It's not a good idea, especially in its raw form, though some cultures do. For those who are concerned, you may want to stick with glycerin for that. But anyone else that doesn't have any allergies to honey, this, I just think honey is a great option. So it's one of my favorite things to use now for making extracts. And I typically mix with my homemade wine. And so I make the wine, it's so much cheaper than using a spirit, which, cause I don't have a, we don't have a still at this point. And so I can just make this out of my own homegrown fruits and then I have it ready for making extracts. And I do like to use, when I'm doing it, I use a one-to-one -one ratio of homemade wine to raw honey. So that's what you'll see. I, these are the three main medicinal extracts I make. This one's for pain. This is a natural antibiotic. And then this is my um, sleep and muscle relaxer extract. Sometimes I'll use these two together if I'm, you know, uh, because this is also will help with pain. It definitely helps with pain in the muscles. A lot of times I'll use them both just mixing them together and just, you know, a half and half shot glass of the two. Now I have videos on all three of these. I'll link to down below. I really should do a new antibiotic one, by the way. That one is so old. And I, in that I'm just using uh, nasturtium leaves, but there's all kinds of natural antibiotics. If you can't get a hold of, if you don't have a garden, you can't grow a garden and, you, and nasturtium leaves are almost impossible to find dehydrated and ready to purchase like you can oregano thyme and other great natural antibiotics I have a, another video that's just a, a list of natural antibiotics it includes echinacea and so much more that you can make your own version of an antibiotic extract so I'll link to both those video to all to those three videos plus the one on the the list of natural antibiotics and then right here is another one I made with some fresh 
rosemary that is a blend of homemade wine and raw honey. And this I made to be a natural antiviral, but is also good as a natural antibiotic because typically what you're gonna find is your antibiotic herbs or your antiviral herbs, they're both. They typically are both antibiotic or antibacterial and antiviral. So anyway, I just wanted to share that because I get asked all these questions. And since I started my channel, I, I'm always experimenting and doing different things. And my favorite, I mean, even the, the very first pain uh, recipe extract I had out there, very different than what I'm doing now. In that one, I was just using homemade vinegar, but it, the, the flavor is so horrible that then I, just, I kept experimenting through the years. And now I use the one-to-one -one ratio of raw honey to homemade wine. And it's great. This is my best pain remedy ever uh, of all the ones I've made so far. And anyway, that's just my version. And again, I also have a, a video on uh, herbs and more for pain and inflammation. So it doesn't even, if you make something like this again, just like with the antibiotic one, it doesn't have to be the blend I make. Uh, this is I, what I know works first, so this is what I use. And it's, it is a blend of cat mint, valerian leaves, echinacea leaves, and feverfew leaves. So all those put together uh, I think it's just those four. I might be forgetting something, but there's all kinds of things like ginger, turmeric, and so much more you can use for pain and inflammation. And what each person uses is going to have to be tailored to them because what you know, one person might be able to use wild lettuce and it works great. Another person might be might not be able to use wild lettuce at all because of what it is. They might have issues with it, or it just doesn't work for them. So. It's great that we have so many different herbs that we can choose from for making our own homemade medicines. So anyway, I just wanted to get that out there. And also I wanted to say before I forget is that typically a, a an oxymill, you know, or things that are made like with honey, often I think on a more general format, so like a honey to wine, they might call it an elixir or even honey mixed with a spirit is another way. Oh, and also almost forgot to say this, Honey is a natural preservative. If it's in its raw form, it's a natural preservative. We know that honey can last forever. And so obviously that's gonna give it its preservative properties, but so will vinegar and so will wine. So I, this actually, this particular one, cause I always forget I have it. You can tell I've been using it, but I always forget I have it. I actually made it a couple of years ago and it's still good. There's nothing wrong with it. So I just tasted it to make sure. It tasted very strong of rosemary though, very strong. And it's actually kind of good. So I need to start taking this, you know, and that we're getting into the virus time of the year. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you and just give you some more ideas. Don't forget to check out the video links I'll be putting in the description box down below by clicking on more. Somewhere down here below the video screen itself, you'll see a real small, the words more, click on that, open the description box. You'll find all the information that I'll be putting in there. And if I think of anything else to add, I'll put that in there too. And thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.